Hi guys, I'm Megan Brightwood and welcome to my channel, or for those of you that have been here for a while, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here and today I'm going to be doing a Knit Crate unboxing, but before I get into that I want to address the background of this video. So this is probably going to be pretty temporary, I mean I'm in front of a Christmas tree, but um, the reason that I'm down here in our living room as opposed to upstairs in our guest room is that our guest room is also our nursery and so my daughter Evelyn, who will be a year old in January, is supposed to be taking a nap up there. So I didn't want to film in there while she's supposed to be taking a nap. She's not sleeping yet. She is such a sleep fighter. Like um, Nap times are always a struggle. So yeah, she's not crying, but she's also not laying down. So not really sure what to do about that. But um, yeah, so that's why I'm down here. Anyway, um, so the Knit Crate unboxing that I'm going to be doing is a little bit different than the last Knit Crates that I've done because I'm doing a different box this month. So I've typically done the Artisan Crate and that is what this uh, cowl is from and I'll talk about that in just a second. But this particular box is going to be the Knit Crate membership box. So it'll be a little different. We're going to kind of discover it together and uh, yeah, we'll see what it's like. So anyway, um, this is the uh, project from last month's Artisan Crate and it is the Sage Cowl by Beta Couture. I love this thing so much. It, the yarn is so, so soft. I don't actually remember what kind it is. Um, I'll link it below so you can check it out, but yeah, it's so, so soft, and this cowl was intense. So it was knit on size 2 Chiago needles, which were included in the crate, and yeah, it's got so many details. Let me see if I can find the start of it. So um, yeah, it's got this double cable detailing here, and then there's um, this ribbon panel here another cable with eyelets, like all of these cables have eyelets. And then let's see what's next. There's this chevron panel that you can see a little bit better from back here. And then another double cable. And then a panel of like bows. Isn't that cool? It is so incredibly detailed. I just, oh my gosh. It took a little bit to figure out what I was doing with it. Um, but then once I got started, it was like, oh, okay, I, I got this figured out. So yeah, very, very nice, easy to wear. Um, can pretty much wear it with anything. It just slips over your head and it's done. So yeah, really, really like this. And like I said, this yarn is so, so nice. I would highly recommend checking out both the pattern and the yarn and I'll link both below. So yeah, love that. So let's get into the unboxing. So this isn't technically in a box. It's in more of a little teal bag and it's got uh, glitter and styrofoam all over it because it is Christmas and there's a lot of glitter and styrofoam around. So I'm just going to dip in, see if I can find the card here. Okay. So this one is, the theme is Little Village, and it says, imagine being tucked away in a little valley, snugly nested between hills and mountains, little houses lined up together in the brightest, happiest painted colors. This month, we're taking inspiration from such idyllic scenes and storybooks with our knit crate theme, Little Village. And so it's uh, got the yarn and the patterns of this particular crate in here. So I'm not going to be talking about that. We're just going to grab and see what we've got. So let's see, I've got two skeins in here. Are we ready? Ooh, nice and chunky. I like that. So this is, I'm not sure how to say that. La Brevis? La Brevis? I don't know. It's by Knit Crate. So here is the tag. You see that? And this is the colorway Storm. It's a fluffy 100% Peruvian Highland wool, and it is a bulky weight. And so there are 60 yards per 100 grams, and the suggested needle size is 15. So this should go pretty, pretty quickly. So yeah, very soft. I really like that it's kind of a tweedy sort of colorway. Do you see that? I love that kind of color. Um, I actually do have several things that are very, very similar to this. So it will pretty much match my entire wardrobe regardless. So yeah, love that yarn. And then let's see if I can find 
the pattern card. So the difference, um, or one of the differences with this particular box, you're not gonna really get any um, overlay if you have, or overlap, sorry, overlay. Um, you're gonna, not gonna get any overlap if you get multiple boxes. Um, so the yarn patterns, all of that is different, but anyway. Um, this one does not have an extra, so it just has the yarn and the patterns, and then it does have a card for those butterfly boxes as well. So the patterns are, oh, this is, oh, this is cool. Okay, so these, one of the patterns is by Emily Johannes, and then the other is by Carla Brady, and one is a knit pattern, and that is the Tempest hat. It's an ear flap hat. Here, can you see that? There we go. And then the other one is actually a crochet pattern, and it is the Frost Flower Cowl, and this is the one by Carla Brady. So this is Emily Johannes, and there is the one by Carla Brady. And um, if you've been watching me for a while, you might know that I have been talking about wanting to crochet a project for a while, so this is perfect. I will definitely be doing the crochet one. Um, I love ear flap hats as well, but I've just, I've really, really been itching to do a little crochet, so that is fun. Hi, Cricket. Um, that's my cat, if you don't know him. Um, so anyway, yeah, the last thing in here is the card for the butterfly boxes. <laughs> Are you sniffing up there? You're making some weird noises. Um, anyway, so this one says, Woolly yarn can provide protection against the cold wind. You can help by giving a refugee their first hat for their first winter in a new home. So yeah, that is the Butterfly Boxes card. Come on, focus, there we go. Uh, yeah, I just love that they do that. So I do actually have a few hats that I'm not wearing anymore that I've made up. So I can probably send a couple of those off. I'll have to remember to do that. Remind me to do that. So um, yeah, anyway, that is my box. I am so excited about this. These bulky yarns are always so much fun. And I always love to have an actual pattern with them because I'm one of those people that I, I'm usually somewhere in the Aran weight for my yarn, and then I like to use like a size eight needle. Um, that's like my ideal place to be. Um, so while I love these bulky yarns and I love that they knit up so quickly, I don't always know what patterns to use because I'm usually looking at Aran weight. So yeah, really, really excited about this. So that is going to do it for my unboxing today. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you are interested in signing up for Knit Crate yourself, I do have a 20% off coupon code, which I will link below. And yeah, I think that's gonna do it. Evelyn is so close to sleeping. So I think I'm going to see if I have a crochet hook that is big enough for this project and start working on it because like I said, I have been itching to do a crochet project for quite a while now. So yeah, I'll, I'm excited. Anyway, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.